Hello everybody, welcome back to another special episode of ABS. You're watching Mina TV. I am so excited about today's episode, y'all. Yes. Because we have guests, and we love when you know guests come in here. And of course, they are from the African Millennial Show. Welcome, yes. yeah, Akon yeah. and YB. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hello, I said it right? Wait. YB? Yeah, YB. What does it stand for? It's okay, don't worry. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not worried, but they yeah. probably worried. They want to know. YB, yeah. what does it stand for? It's DJ YB. DJ YB, yeah. okay. The DJ oh. comes first, and the YB will come after. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. And um, how was your, your visit the last time you came? Did you I have mean, fun? It was cool. You forgot my name. Again. <laughs> it was cool. Well, you said I forgot your name the last time I yeah. did it. I yeah. almost did. Almost. Almost. All right. Quick, but I, just, <laughs> I don't know, but it was it was cool. Y'all y'all cool people, so I think I'll stick around. Awesome, for a while. awesome. Yeah. Ivy, are you ready? I'm ready to it's, jump in. It's like us versus them. I know. <laughs> and they're gonna lose. Already. Wait, already. Wait, wait, that's gonna lose. <laughs> it's okay. Bring it on. Yeah, yeah. I, they didn't tell me that when I came in. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you it's, let them bring it on? Okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. right. So I hope you guys are ready because we're gonna jump right into today's topic. All right. So after months of speculations, the Ghanaian actor. Chris Atto, <laughs> I know you didn't know the name before, Chris Atto, <laughs> and the Nigerian actress, um, Dam Damilola, I always pronounce her Damilola. name wrong, Damilola, Damilola, finally called it quits after two years of their marriage. Why'd you say finally? They were only married for two years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, he said finally, like, <laughs> he was, I, I, I was like, no, he was waiting, I didn't want to say anything. Two years waiting. nowadays is, is a long time, okay? That's, 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 that's Shout out to Kim that got married. <laughs> For 72 days. <laughs> so two years is actually a long time, you know. That's right. Come on. So, um, yeah, so there's been speculations about uh, what the reason was. Mm -hmm. According to um, one source, Chris Atto said because Demi Lola wasn't submissive enough. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. why it didn't work out. But let me let me read this quote by um, Chris Atto. Demi Lola? Demi Lola. Uh, no, Chris Atto said Demi Lola was a... Right? Yes, she's a... I mean, Demi Lola is your bunny, yeah, except so. there's a... She's a famous actress. You don't, can't... You don't remember her face? No, really. No. no. Oh, no. wow. No. I watch a lot of films where she's in it. Yeah. In an interview with Bella Niger, um, Chris Atto said, Demi is a wonderful woman and, a, and an amazing mother. Despite our differences, she and I will always be friends. So even though there's been, you know, speculations about what the main reason was, they still decide to stay friends and, mm -hmm. Well, know. they just got, I mean, what else is he supposed to say? After two years. <laughs> and they have a son right? together, y'all. They have a... Well, a how long were they together before they got married? So they were dating, there was a show, this famous Nigerian show, Tinsel, and they were on it from 2008 to 2013. Mm, okay. And then they broke up on that show, and then they started dating again in 2013, and then they got married in 2015. Mm. They got divorced in 2017. <laughs> so... That was a complication ship, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> Very well, complicated. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. And so what do you guys think about this rise in divorce that's happening right now among Africans? Well, um, she's Yoruba and like... What Yoruba, does that mean? Yoruba women, they're like, they're tough. Now, they, wow. I love them though. Have you I dated a Yoruba woman before? I, I mean, you, you I was raised... Yoruba. Yeah, I was raised by a Yoruba woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have Yoruba sisters, Yoruba <laughs> uh, cousins, aunts. They're very, they're very like strong will. So depending, when he said she wasn't submissive, I was like, I'm not surprised at all. So what does that mean? I don't know what it means. I don't know what <laughs> no, his no, definition is. No, 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 don't match up. <laughs> don't match up. No, I don't know what his definition of submissive is. So, but what is your definition of submissive? What do you think she wasn't doing? Uh oh, he's no, sipping. You can sip all you want. We'll wait. We'll wait. Is this tea or water? Right. I don't know. <laughs> but um, my definition of submissive is, I'm going to tell you what it's not. I'm going to tell you what it's not. Okay. All right. It's not. S people think automatically slave, like, you know, slavery. Like, okay. you have to do as I say and whatever I tell yeah. you to do. That's mm -hmm. the first That's thing the, people... The association. Yeah, of uh -huh. submissive is. So I think what it truly means is that a woman can take, a t take the time out to allow a man to be a man in a situation or allow him to make a decision and take charge in certain situations. Mm -hmm. Just like, same vice versa. There's situations where men have to kind of, like, step back and let the woman do what she has to do. Yeah. So I think that's where he kind of, a lot of people get it wrong. They think, oh, automatically she has to be a slave to you. Nah, not at all. It's, it's, it is a teamwork, but you know, it's said that the men, you know, lead the household. So sometimes you gotta. <laughs> wait, okay. wait, give us some examples of decisions that only a man can make. And then give us an example of all decisions that only a woman can make. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a, there's a tone in my voice that is. <laughs> <laughs> 
I no, mean, like, there. if you if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna decorate the house, you feel me? Take charge. You can do that. Decorate the you house. You think the woman can do that? What'd you say? Oh, you de- no, no, no. Woman can take charge and um, dealing dealing with certain affairs of the kids, like as far as like um, their, I guess, pampering in a way. Then I'll let you know. You I'll, will let. I'll let her, you know, handle that. <laughs> However, she wants to handle that. Um, I mean, I cook, so that's going that's going to be a little funny because mm-hmm. like sometimes I want to chef it up. Sometimes she might want to chef it up. Um, so okay, so let's bring it back. Because yeah. when Chris Atto made that statement about the wife not being submissive enough, I was like, hold up, w- what is going on? Like, who did he think he married? Who do you think you are, first of all? <laughs> like, let's, let's, let's go there. When they actually got engaged, I was there. It was at a party, it was at a book. You, you were there? I was there. Mm-hmm. Say, famous. <laughs> Say word. I was there, it was at a, a book um, party, a boat ride party, and that happened. And when it happened, it wasn't even romantic enough. <laughs> It really wasn't. I saw it with my own eyes. What's romantic? So let's let's start What's romantic? there. What's romantic? Let's st- no. Let's start there. All it was. Right. It I wasn't t- to my standard. No, you know, you know what I consider romantic. He took romantic. her to the boat, tried to propose. You're telling me it's not romantic. <laughs> it, was, it was. All right. What, what did he do? How did he do it? I, I want to know how he did it. It was okay. It was the boat wasn't even all that fancy. <laughs> <laughs> but you were on the boat. Nah, he was on the boat. Nah. He was on the boat. Nah. He was enjoying the boat. Listen, he was enjoying the boat. Charlie was eating there, drinking there. Dancing, having a good time. I went, I, I went, this and by the time I, listen, by the time I, <laughs> <laughs> listen, I wanted to, I wanted to I walk right out, out. <laughs> but by the time I, I, you know, decided to walk right out, the boat was moving. What did you expect me to do, jump? <laughs> So let's start there. I mean, when I see when I see this woman, even mm-hmm. when I by just looking at her picture, she looks like a no nonsense woman. She looks like she's not gonna be sitting around for a mat for somebody to boss her around. And if that's what Chris Atto was looking for, then she, then he met the wrong woman. Any, any man that's looking for a woman to boss around is not a real man. That's number one. Okay. Okay. That's good, yeah. Why are we bossing people around? Okay. <laughs> it seems like that's what he around. wanted. Can, uh, uh, what do you know what he... I don't know what he wants. He said he, he wasn't... He said she wasn't submissive. Do you know, know, maybe no. maybe she wasn't. Maybe she was doing something that is not aligned to what he sees exactly. as like, a woman. Know, give me an example. I mean, may, who knows? Do you know whether she did something crazy? Give me an example. No, I got you. I got you. I'll give you an example. Some Sometimes women feel like being independent and strong will is enough to, to say yeah, yeah. that's, that's so a good no, one sometimes well, they confuse it with being you see the first thing you said you see the first thing you said the first thing you said you said she looks like a no-nonsense woman yes right? so she's now, not gonna take it to me now i know you think that she's because she says she's no nonsense obviously you can't tell her probably go and get me water and she'll probably be like who do you think you are I'm you don't not have no, she's not gonna do that she's not gonna just she's not gonna do that see, okay that, so what do you know what she's going to do or not you don't okay. know but you made a statement you backed her up you said okay. she looks like a no-nonsense so, woman okay. or automatically you already backed her up all right, doesn't matter what she's done or not Okay. Yes or no? So yes or no? No, I'm not going to answer that question. Yes or no? It's that, true. That's I what you said. I have to explain myself. I have to explain no, myself. No, 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 I felt no, no, no. like you guys, like a lot of guys out there, took the word submissive and ran with it. Ran with this. Saw it in the Bible. Oh, women are supposed to be submissive to me. Ha ha ha. That means I can still do my bullshit. And when I come home, the food has to be done. That you know, you have to clean. You have to be submissive. And no. That's what people Wait, the Bible said. Oh, the Bible. Yeah, 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 about to quote the Bible, but it's it's compromise, which means. The woman loves you, and then the, the woman, it said, woman, love your man. And then, no, it said, no, no. It said, man, man <laughs> I'm uh-huh, sorry. Man. It said, man, Bro. loves your woman, uh-huh. and then the woman will be submissive. So, if, you, if you're not loving your, your woman, if you're not caring for, mm-hmm. for her, but you still want her to be submissive to you, mm-hmm. like, I don't understand that part. Cool. So, let's go back to the Bible again, just like you said. When somebody takes something from the Bible and go run with it and do something with it, mm-hmm. and then that, of course, they've taken apart and interpreted it in their own way that they feel like this is what I'm going to use. Mm-hmm. People misinterpret yeah. things all the time. Okay. They misinterpret mm-hmm. the Bible, they misinterpret the Quran, mm-hmm. even the whole, everything, everything they inter- misinterpret. First Amendment. What I'm saying is <laughs> 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 But yeah, what I'm trying to say is this, right? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, you can take that and you can, you can use it to, you know, you can interpret it. But then again, what are you interpreting? Is, it, is this association, is it going to be negative or positive in this relationship or whatever? No, just like you said, of course, if I'm loving if I'm loving to my wife, I expect that to be submissive to me in some sort of way. What does that mean? I okay. mean, I expect okay. to respect me. In, I mean, Why is in, submissive in, respect? In, so you don't respect uh-oh. your wife? Independent, of course. Independent women no, over here? I'm saying what is, because you're, I need to hear definitions of actually what submissive is. Because guys will all say so different things. I, you give a guy food. Oh, you're submissive, but then another guy, he's like, oh, "Of course, what? That's what you're supposed to be doing anyway." Like, yeah. 
what is submissive to you? Supposed to do. The, yeah, people have told me that. Like, you're supposed to do that anyway. Like, what, what it's is okay. This? All right, cool. So, I mean, I could use that. I would use the food example again one more time. I could use that. I could say, I mean, obviously, I've been in a situation where I've seen uh, a guy, you know, ask a girl to, like, you know, get me food. And she'd be like, ah, you know, get legs. You know what I'm saying? There's a way you maybe but, there's but, a way but, you act. But uh, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, if if I mean, if if you really, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the relationship is. But if I if uh, I'm going to use the food example, and I'm saying I want you to get me food or something, and whatever we, I mean, let's say I say it in a nice way, and you t make a statement to, and say you don't get leg. That means you're not really submissive. Uh, yes or no? I mean, you're okay, not really submissive. So, the word so I will use that. Let me tell you why I don't like that word. Mm -hmm. The definition of that word mm -hmm. is yeah, it's you when you're it? ready to conf conform to an authority. I don't like that word. If you're go, go, going into a marriage, let it be 50 50. You bring something to the table, and I bring something to the table. Let's work together. Let's work together. And do. I think that's, w that's what, what, what he did. He went into the marriage thinking, I'm the man of the house. You know, I'm bringing well, the money. He's the man of the house, though. Okay, but what does that mean? I think he means that he came ar around um, swing, I would say swinging his D around, but like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't swing <laughs> D around, bossing people around, swinging it around. Like, no, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. Yes. There are some people who are like that. Yes, However, like he also made an, another interview. He did talk about, like, she wouldn't compromise on her career. He married this Nigerian woman. He, he's a star. He's a huge star. Mm -hmm. She's also a big star. Mm -hmm. Why should she compromise on her career? For what? Are you compromising on is your he, career, yeah, too? Is he going to compromise? No, he Maybe. talked about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said he wasn't compromising? No, he talked about, like, she wasn't compromising on her career. Was he, maybe, was he maybe, compromising? Maybe, maybe but they didn't even too? follow. How was he? He's in every freaking movie. How was he compromising? You know, but how, how do you know what they're doing? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he's what compromising what's on something. Maybe, who knows? Yeah. Maybe, maybe he's compromising on something. He was, not. He was, yeah. Let me tell you, I don't know. The, I'm not there. I wasn't we there when they were doing know. the breakup. We don't I was know. not there. I'm not their doctor or their therapist or anything. But what I'm telling you, what I can tell you is this. If she's saying, if he's saying that he's not, she's not compromising, maybe, maybe he's, maybe he is. But she's not. That's why she felt uh, he felt that she's not submissive. Okay. You see how they spelled that? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, miss, You're so, so silly. But, but it's true. So that, that's that's how I see it. Miss, so why do you think there's a, been a rise in divorces recently? Because there's been like a rise in divorces around. Are you saying generally Af or in Africa? Africa? In Africa. Africa. Oh, okay, in oh. Africa. In Africa. Because they're following. They're following the Western. Uh, the Western way. What? Western ways now. They Western ways. Yeah. What, what, what do you want to say? What, what for? What do you want to say? What? Charlie Western ways. What you're trying to say is divorce only happens in the Western. Well, it's the high rate. Yes. This is the first country that I've seen a, a board that says when diamonds are not forever call 1-800-divorce lawyer how okay okay why promote the divorce right, right there let me tell you let me tell you why, why. They that's a promotion on its own that's yep. that just that even I'm not happy and I want to walk something with my wife when I see that I'm like, ah, you start thinking like maybe this ain't again. worth it because mm. if they are telling women that listen there's other options. We don't you have give, to. Why are you giving a negative? That's a, that's it's a not negative. Right? It's not I, negative. I, I mean, it's not, it doesn't it's, have to. The be. way you see it is different. It's a helping hand. Listen, women, you don't <laughs> have. Hand. You don't have to. When that much are not forever. Yes. Don't stay. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you refer to only women? What about men too? Hold on. Hold, it's it's for. It, listen. Don't. The message here is. Mm -hmm. Don't stay in the marriage just because you have blink blink on your finger and don't stay in there. There's other options. Call the lawyer. Divorce his ass. Get half of the money if you if you have to. Like, don't stay in a marriage. That's and that's what that's what. Most, this most, is the reason why. They that's what. To that's what. I'm this for. is the reason why. They're no, that's the question. I mean, you, man. No, <laughs> the question. Please give me. you an answer and say no, this is the question. So me. the thing is, I actually think that um, what DJ YB, YP was saying. Y wow, wow, YB, wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying um, is true because. I do, okay, so I do think we encourage divorces here. And sometimes some things you could actually, like, why haven't you worked it out with your counselor? Why didn't you? Like, divorce to me is to be the last step. Like, Result, you are you are just thing. miserable. Like, so it should never be, oh, I'm pissed at my husband or I'm pissed at my wife. Because actually, people always mention women. But you know, men file for divorce more than women do. And they use mm. it as leverage. What's so 
Men, uh, what source? Being an attorney <laughs> and by doing divorces. No, for real. Wow. In the state of Texas, anyway, I don't know about New Jersey, but men file divorces more than okay. women do. So. And they did it as a way to leverage. So when they're unhappy with an argument they had with their wife over a text message, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get him. And then they file for divorce. Mm -hmm. And what they mm -hmm. do is they never expect the other person to be like, Ah, okay, I'm gonna sign it. Like they never right, expect so that. Nobody, I People know. don't fight. Nope. People don't fight anymore. But and then and then like let's talk about it. Let's go to counseling. Let's do this stuff. That's and then great. apps and then let's talk to our even our parents. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's talk to somebody who's been married for 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. Let's work it out. People yeah. don't do that here. You have to admit that. Like people just I'm give sorry, up. There's so many options. Oh, I married I, I married this girl. Let me get rid of her. Let me get marry somebody else. Or I married this guy. Mm, there's that other guy. He's making a little bit more money. I want to have a different life. Let me marry him. Like people just are so casual here, yeah. and I feel like that attitude is going to Africa. Think, I think about it. Why don't they promote counseling as much as they promote divorce? Yes. I barely yes. see any type of uh, promotion for counseling. Yep. And counseling is, I guess, what I guess it's to the money goes to that private mm. privately to that person. Mm -hmm. I mean, they get taxed or, or whatever. Um, even but counseling, like even a pastor or your temple or no, there's no promotion. Somebody. There's no promotion, yeah, no promotion at all for that. Most Therefore, people. America is making. Let's be real. Not America benefits. Also. The West and yeah, general. they benefit. I mean, they benefit well, I don't, divorces I don't see like too. That. I don't. Nobody I know gets up one day and be like, "Hmm, this is a beautiful day to get divorced." <laughs> nobody <laughs> I know. No, nobody I know do that. It is the last stage. They've, they've worked it out, they've prayed over, over it, and it's not working out, so they get a divorce. Like, back back at home, a lot of people live, and they, they might as well just get divorced. Like, there's a lot of couples in, in Africa that live like roommates. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. they don't love each other, but they would rather stay in there like roommates. You know, appearances. Like appearances, safe face, than to go and get a divorce so and you're trying to with tell their me that, so that's, that's in Africa, you said, yeah? It, a lot but of people in Africa do that. They don't do that here? They do that here as well. So what are you but saying? But here it's registered. So now we, here it's registered. That's why we know the number. There's a lot of people in Africa that so basically are divorced. So, so you're saying, wait, wait, so you're saying they don't divorce in Africa? Is that, is I'm it? saying they'll rather stay in it. They'll rather just be there. You just said you just said they're doing it in America too. So you can't say they're in, in no, Africa. They are, rather. they are registering it here in America. They are going to court and signing papers. They're going to court in Africa too and signing papers and getting the people. Not, doing that not too. all of them. They'll just be there so and, go, and go to events together wait, so and then come back I home. Think, wait, the the, the man quick. will sleep in the bedroom and the, the woman will sleep in the living room. You haven't seen this? No, I've so seen no, 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 no. I've seen this. No, I've seen this. But but can we agree? Can you agree now that the western the western side have played a part into Africa's rise of the Okay, so I don't see it that way. When you see that billboard, influence, hold on, influence. Hold, Let hold me on. not say influence. no, but it's all promoting and influencing it. What yeah, I'm saying is, hold on. What I'm saying is, when I I see the billboard mm -hmm. that says if marriage is not working out for you, call this number. Mm -hmm. You see it as it's promoting it. I don't see it that way. I see it as listen, What's girls, for? listen, women, listen, man. There's an other option. You don't have to stay They're in this. They're promoting that other option, though. Yeah, okay, okay. <sighs> but like, so okay. we're just saying, haven't you? There's so many divorce. TV shows. There's so many uh, like divorce the, court. everything. Divorce courts. There's all this stuff that's on no TV. Counseling. And, it's, it's, and, and when, when you people, watch those shows, people look at here. It's when so you, casual. Like, and when you watch those, divorced. no, when you watch those shows, some of the reason why they are trying to get the divorce. You, I'd be watching it sometimes, and I'm I like, why did some you do this? Some, some of them are petty, bro. Some, some of them are petty. petty. Some of them are some petty. petty. Some, some, are petty. So some petty. of them are petty, but some of them are also, bro. Why didn't you do this yesterday? Because it's that bad. Do you understand? So yes, All it's right. promoting and it's helping. Right, can we give an example right. as to where that's it? You guys have to divorce. It's not abusive. Abusive. Okay, abusive. what else? Yeah. The love died. Like the what no does that mean? Okay, there is no love. Not. You ain't never loved the person. Okay, the love so died. okay, there's, so let's get divorced. If no. I never loved you to begin with, we need to work on that. If you, if your answer no, is no, you need to work on that. I'm going to work. On myself. See? You look like a runner. Are you a runner? I'm not a runner. Yeah. You look like a runner. I'm just not going to take right bullshit from statements. nobody. Hey, look, listen, nah. listen what you said. That's yeah. what it is. Let nah. me tell you. Listen, if I'm Do you know why Africans? Do you know why Africans usually stay and why they, why you think they stay? I, I think because they're stronger and they can they can actually they want, want to fight it out. They fight. They fight. Okay. Yeah, Africans they fight. fight. But, but we don't run. Want we don't run. Hold on, hold on. We don't run. Okay. We fight. We, we get when something doesn't go well for us. Why do you think a lot of Africans leave when we leave our we leave Africa and go somewhere else? Why do you think we succeed a lot because we fight? It doesn't matter. We struggle. We see it. We'll go for mm -hmm. it, right? But when you become a runner, once something small doesn't work for you, do you know what you do? Run. You run. That's what it is. It once you I see that board right now, brother, and I know. Let me tell you. I'm, you know when I see that boy and I and I know something is not happy. I'm not happy or something is not that I know I can work. I can fight for. 
They are giving me options to run, brother. You know what I will do? I will run. Yeah. It's what it is. Yeah. It's it's straight up like oh, that. It's, just it's training. the way it is. Let me tell you another reason why I think there's a, a, a lot of divorce or whatever it is. I think that people do not. I mean, I, we say this the, the other time with in our, on our show. I, right. I think people do not understand the concept of marriage anymore. No, they don't. They think why they do it. They do, they do it for the wedding. Do you know why you're getting married? They doing it for the wedding. Do the you glamour. Know why? You don't know why. So you want to just enjoy yourself. Have this big wedding, people wear gilly and come and pop champagne in your wedding. Eat your love rice. 72 weeks later, like in Kardashian, you go to end it. Okay. <laughs> because so, you have no, so do you guys there. see that, the little, little petty stuff that you are saying? Yes. That, oh, it happened and I got divorced. Do you know that in some way you could see it as the signs? These are the signs. So let's say that they, this couple, they stay together, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm for like 11 years, and then they get, let's say 11 years, and then they get divorced. She'll probably be like, wow, why didn't I notice all of these things 10 years ago? Because, you know, all this, because it, it's a build up, it, mm -hmm. it's a little, little things, and then finally you, you had enough. Yeah. So you can say, Rana, I would say, well, I noted this, noted this fast, and I, yeah. you know, I took myself out of it. Good. Mm -hmm. but but you know, I, I love that example. And also, I can use another example and tell you somebody who probably, Probably had that feeling after two years yeah. and decided to stay. And guess what? They're probably still together till the next 50, 40 well, years. Well, those people. Good. So that example, I feel, can be used in this But let's agree, let's agree on one thing. A relationship can only work if two people are willing to fight for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So therefore, mm -hmm. that's yeah, true. that's the only way. Yeah. So, I like that. Yeah. So if we're both already giving up in our head, like then, you said, we yeah. see, see the billboard. Right. Is, so if one, yeah. person, one person gives up, the next person keeps fighting. That's it. That's it. There's no, there's no, there's, there's no, no it's not going to happen anymore. So and that's why I feel like. A lot of people, like you said, give up, and that's the thing. Uh, they don't even want to try and fight no more, so they just give up. Yeah. Hopefully, that you know, th their next marriage, yeah, yeah the next, next marriage, hopefully the next marriage will work out. Yeah. You don't know how many people yeah. I ran into that had, you know, their third Multiple husband, multiple wives, and husbands. third husband, third wife, fourth wife. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know, what I mean? welcome oh, to America, America. They say. <laughs> <laughs> at least, our, at least our grandfather, our grandfather <laughs> stuck, stuck with our wives, stuck with our wives, married all five of them. Like, let me tell. You but, know what, let me not just so say it. But do you know it. another reason? When I was uh, when I was doing divorces in Texas, I realized that most people. I felt it was God. Uh, the reason that I was able to do that, I felt like God was teaching me a lesson. Mm -hmm. And I realized that the only difference between all of these people, because I did a lot of divorces, because it was easier and I made a lot of money. So you're <laughs> making was, money off the divorce. I was. Man. It was. You know. Oh, so I was are you a divorce lawyer. lawyer or something? No, I would do it though, because I need money. But what I would you do, see what, what you I see, learned. You see that now? <laughs> what does that tell you? What, what does that tell you? What it's I all learned. about the money. Everything is about money. Everything's about money, though. Okay, cool. So we already <laughs> have that established already. <laughs> but, so my I, but let me make my point. The reason that I was glad and grateful to do divorces, and I felt like it was God who told me to do them, is because I learned that most people just get divorced because of poor communication and divorce and money issues. Once you know, especially during the recession, like when money issues hit and none of them had money, it was very it was a lot of strain on each other. Mm -hmm. But then um, communication, like they just weren't talking. Like they would like how many people we live in this like everyone's texting and everyone's doing this, yeah. everyone's doing really quick. How many times have somebody just you know what? Let me check in with my wife today and let me just sit with mm -hmm. her and look at her as she's talking and Vibe just her. really absorb her. Or let me sit with my husband, let me absorb him. So I was like, okay, this is lessons I'm learning for my own marriage, because I'm not gonna get divorced. And Amen. honestly, like, I just feel like most things are communication and money. Money is huge. People get divorced all the time when yeah. money is gone. Suddenly it's like everything he does irritates me or everything yeah. she does irritates me. She's not holding and up. That's BS, you know. that's BS. But that's truth. And I think communication, uh, people say petty things. Really is a petty thing because a lot of times, even when, with regular friendships, there have been friendships that we've all had, we probably lost or you know moved on from, and it's like little petty things. But if you really think about it, it was more than that. You know, it was, it was you, an know issue. I, you know, I said it's petty because it's petty in the sense that it could have been worked out, it yeah. could have been overlooked. Like, I've heard people will get divorced over the simple reason why oh, he doesn't squeeze the toothpaste from the bottom, he squeezes it from the middle, something like, like people that. Hey, hey, but I mean, you can say, hey, hey, black people got problems too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so but no, I'm just saying that, too. like, as as petty as that, it cause it can cause a divorce. But as funny as that sounds, those are things that could have been worked out. Oh, she leaves. He leaves the uh, shoes at the door when he when he comes that in. That could be annoying. No, that can be. That, that can, can be. be very that annoying. can. Yeah, that can be annoying. Yeah. But just like whatever relationship you have, whether it's with your boss, your coworkers, your friends, your your girlfriend, your your boyfriend, whatever, mm -hmm. there's going to be an issue that you have to resolve. Whether it's a big one, whether it's a small one. There's people out here getting slapped by their significant others. 
And I'm sometimes, it's funny to me when I look at you, oh, so this is what you're complaining about? He left the shoes at the door. Like, you, you understand what I I'm saying? Pro- so, yeah. yeah. And then another thing I've said a while back on the show is that mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes our generation doesn't, we don't want to take responsibility for a lot of things. No, we, don't. we don't even want to fight for our own friendship anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm talking like, let's say me and YB get into a fight. My pride is so strong, I don't even want to hit him up and be like, bro, what yeah, happened? Let's yeah, work it out. True. So, if you can't do that with your own friend, How's well, your relationship I, I, and marriage? So that's, 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 that boils down to it again. So our mindset in this generation is, it's, uh, is messed up. Our ge- the, the mindset is really distorted. It's messed up. Because yeah. we don't even know what we get into a relationship for anymore. We don't even want to fight for it anymore. No. It's like everybody wants to settle for the easiest thing that comes to you. That's you true. It's, it's the mindset you want to hear, you you hear the scary thing? Sorry to cut you off. You want to hear the scary thing? People take pride in their bullshit now. Yep. People take, oh, that's that, just the way I am. You no, just won't uh, have to uh, take do, it. Do you know what they're going to say? What? It's my opinion. It's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stop it. <laughs> what do you mean? I really wanted Chris, um, Chris Atta to actually tell us the reason why they get in the divorce. But all he said was our differences. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, they're, they're, he's from Ghana. And she's Nigerian. I don't think that's a that b- big deal. Okay. No, I, I didn't think it was a big deal either. Oh. But differences there's a lot as of far differences as like there. Belief. Yeah. Well, like yeah. what? How do how well, do we how do, do things different than you guys? Like how do exactly. men treat them uh, women? Just I just want to know how do y'all treat your women? Oh yeah. Wait. Excuse me. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Do <laughs> yeah, Nigerians treat women differently than like uh, no, treat women? No, I mean he said it's a big deal. I want to know. No, he treat women with TLC. What do we treat our women? Tender, loving care. And what? How do, what, we, what, how do Nigerians know, we treat uh, them? How do we treat them? I don't know. You tell me. My brother. My brother. I don't know. You tell me. I'm uh, not Nigerian. Uh, no. Uh, no. No. That's, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Uh, uh, wait. Um. I, I'm, it's like I feel like I'm lost or something. Is, is, there, is, there, is, there, is there? I don't know if it's the same thing. It's, or God, I mean, don't come attack me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Brother. I'm just saying. I feel like I'm attacking you. No, I'm, it's love, I'm just saying. It's love. Well, it's okay, love. so they have a son together. Yes, nine months old, I think. So, so do you guys think they should have worked it out because of the baby? That, 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 that for two years, I, I think for that son, for that two years, they have actually know. fought. I don't know how long they'll be fighting this thing. I don't, I don't know, know how long they'll be. For mm-hmm. that son, I think they would have fought a little bit more to see it. Then nine if it doesn't months? work out, yeah. it's cool. I, I have so a problem honestly, with somebody being divorced. I have no problem with that. If you if yeah. you think you're yeah, not divorced, you're divorced. if you're not happy, yeah, that's why I said that nobody gets up in the morning and, and be like, yeah, but you're not, not happy in the situation. So whether it's petty or not, it's not for you to 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 measure it. Whether mm. it's petty or not, they are not happy in the situation and they want to get out. Okay. Just like the movie, get the out. They want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 was, that was different. That was different. <laughs> he said just like the movie. We're not talking about no, family no, brainwashing people. Get out. Like, you know, okay. see, see, happiness deteriorates over time. You mm. know? That's yeah. life. It's, it's, it's life. You know, it's sometimes you, you like something. I like, you know, like, like you can like something for a very long time and it gets to a point. It gets, uh, we understand that part. But it's, again, in marriage, um, when you, I mean, I'm not married, I've never been married, but I understand that, you know, if you married somebody, there's a reason why you did that. That person has to, that's what I'm saying, you have to understand the concept of why you get married to somebody. There has to be some Is genuine happiness love, in there. Yeah, love, and love. love. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking the and last time, I was thinking the last time, and I was like, I feel like, you guys don't laugh, but I feel like marriage <laughs> should have an expiring date. Hold on. Don't attack me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Every, every, but, every okay. license has an uh, expiring date. Your mm-hmm. driver's license they do your passport does mm-hmm. so i feel like marriage should have one maybe every 10 years and if you still feel like you love the person you can go renew it mm. if you don't see you bye and then you go i feel like that will work for a lot of people wow. like myself we can you know <laughs> <laughs> why don't you like, no seriously we get married they give us a license hey it, it would expire in 2020 okay hold okay we'll come back in 2020 and if we feel the same we're gonna renew it i'm gonna tell you why I, I, i'm gonna tell you why that's a terribly why? idea why? i'm gonna tell you that's why because like i said uh, yeah just giving people more and more reason to not take responsibility bro, so let me tell you like 10, ten years, years, bro. Ten years, man. I'm only fighting two years. <laughs> 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 no, I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's great. I'm married this year. Why are you so trapped? I'm married next year, but every year I'm married different women. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Be too yeah, no, I mean, you're not going to yeah. marry different women. Are you okay? No, you're not. I will you're marry not. different no. women. You're giving me the right no, to get married to No, but if you love that person, you're going to renew it. Here we go with love again. Now you. Try. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you But if you had love, there shouldn't even be no renewing of license. It shouldn't be there. Ah, man. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. But I, <laughs> <terrible> <laughs> idea. I, I like it. I like. I like I, you know something funny? Yes. You like it? it? I like the way you High said. Five. I, I like <laughs> it. But there's like big, um, you know, 
holes to I, it that, 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 that would work. Nah, it's just gonna give more people yeah. reasons uh, and reasons me. and reasons I'm telling you, to I mean, get on the page with me. <laughs> it's ten not, years, child. It's oh, not, no, it's, it's, you know what it is. It, they, they now people are gonna get married with the mentality like, eh, if it doesn't work marriage. out, ten no, years, whatever. We because like, let's say like the last there are guys who no. just get married every three three months with the yes. same contract. Hold on, <laughs> three months. Let's say, let's say the experiment. Let's say. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's a, a, it's a, a, a Nigerian boy. This is why polygamous yeah. Do you believe it's in polygamous? It's a setup. A terrible setup. No, don't say that. Yeah. That's yeah. a goal. Okay. You're creating... No, man. <laughs> Even in fact, the idea of the divorce, because if we go back to biblical times, divorce was created by Moses because um, spouses... All right. Spouses were killing spouses were killing each other off. Mm -hmm. So Moses then created the law of divorce to, you know, put away instead of, you know, putting away your spouse or whatever or killing them, separate separate from each other. It's not like divorce was supposed to be the end goal of the marriage mm -hmm. or anything. So um, I feel like now people have taken divorce and abused the hell out of it. Yep. Now people will get divorced just because, you know, like you said, there's no money involved. So now, why are we to even? Why are we even together now? Before divorce, I'm pretty sure. Besides the whole killing part, which was terrible, I'm pretty sure people were working out their marriages by force, by fire, however <laughs> they want to, you know. By fire, or force. <laughs> force and fire, fire and force, wind and fire, whatever they were working it out. But now you're talking about a license, man. Yeah. Nobody's gonna take marriage serious. And I Nobody. definitely, well, I definitely have to say, on one part, I do think I'm the. I think the real reason of the rise is not only people are not taking responsibility, but I do think before African women or people would just take it because of society. Like honestly, let's just be real, especially okay. our parent generation, All right. um, or even our grandparents' generation. Mm -hmm. Women couldn't just leave. To do what? Right. What yeah. would you be doing? Yeah. You old, they'd be like, this old witch. They'd be like, what's this witch? <laughs> no, sure. Yeah, they would mm -hmm. be called her a witch, a husband stealer, mm -hmm. a curse. They would be called like a plague oh. on the village. In most cases, life will get harder for you life when you Life would divorced. get harder. And nobody then, wants a, a divorced woman. Nobody wants a divorced woman, especially, um, it sounds bad. That sounds terrible. That's no, not the case no, anymore. No, it is what it, but, it, is what it was. Yes, it was what even it was. now, even if I went and I moved to Nigeria and I got divorced, it would be harder for me to remarry an African person. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible, it's not, but it would be really hard because his family, whoever would approach, would be like, that's a divorced woman. She's a quitter. She's this. She's a witch. Like she's blah blah blah. So let's just let's just talk about that too. And then women were. I feel like I saw a lot of um, situations like Charlie described, where mm. people just lived separately or they lived like roommates. Like I, um, what I would call a divorce when I was a kid would be when parents would live on separate continents with no plans on like. You know, sometimes people live in Africa and live in Canada or mm -hmm. one person lives here because of money, mm -hmm. you know, and they're coming and they're sending money back for them to come. Mm -hmm. But there'll be instances where, no, it's not money. We're just living on separate continents for the last 15 years. They're clearly divorced. Yeah. Like, but no, they come together for Christmas. They come together for weddings and birthdays or whatever. So I, could, well, I don't know. According to HuffingtonPost.com, um, this is some of the reason why um, people get divorced. Mm -hmm. Lack of individual identity. So I want to go back to Chris Atto and... Um, what does that mean? Okay, so let... Okay, yeah, yeah. Chris Atto is a huge star. And I'm sure the lady was, you know, a huge star as well. But once you get married to somebody like Chris Atto, you're always going to be referred to as, oh, you're the wife of this person, right? Uh. So, you know what I mean? So that whole feeling of the wife of... That's fine. Or the husband... You, see, you think that's fine? She, she has her own career. People are going to probably refer to her she by does, her name. No, no, she does have a... Her In Ghana, career. they probably say the wife no, but, of. But you see how annoying it can be that you are you are, you are lost. Like you can't be your own person. You can be your own person with your friends and your family. Like, why do you need to be your own person? Oh, the wife of. Like, I understand that can be irritating, but really, would that be a real reason to get divorced after two years? No. It kind of it kind of seems like oh, everything that I've accomplished in my life, this is how you know me by you know you know me by somebody's you know. Prodigy or somebody's mm. husband or somebody's you wife. Know I, 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 you know what I mean. I, I understand that. I, can, I understand that point. Thank you. I mean, you could, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Some people feel some type of way. I won't. I won't. Some, I yeah. won't want somebody to say overshadow oh, you. Yeah, mm -hmm. like not overshadow. Even though you know you're great on your own, and you, they're trying to associate you with somebody else who, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, almost on the same right, level. No, no, almost no, 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 on the same level. But you know you've done something good on your own, where you can be seen as that just you. And now they're trying to. Tie you to somebody. I can see you feeling some type of way about that, mm -hmm. and maybe having that kind of conversation with your husband and saying, "Look, I don't like 
this concept of what is happening. Maybe that's why some people actually go with their last name and they don't usually take the person's last name and yeah, they go with it. So people, people, there could be a better way to work that, but but I, g I get that point. I get it. <laughs> do you? <laughs> no, do you? I mean, I do. I mean, I kind of get it, but it's just like, would that be a road race to get divorced? I mean, I don't know. I'm not in that situation. I'm trying to think if I, if Beyonce and Jay Z divorce and I remarry Jay Z, I guess. Would I be disturbed? I don't know. What? What? You know you be. You know you be. Okay. It's true. Whatever. I mean, yeah. They'd be like but the wife of was the second wife. Second of, one, sorry. The second, second yeah. one. Um, one of, one of them was becoming lost in the role. When you 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 get married, you you don't know what your role is anymore. Yeah. You get lost in it. That is why you should know your role as a man, and you should know your role as a woman. But when people say that, what does mm -hmm. that mean? Why would I know my role? There are people like you realize that. Let's say if you get with somebody, they're strong in certain parts, mm -hmm. and you're strong in certain parts. Why can't Good. you just bring so the that part together? that you're strong in that's your role? Yeah. The part that but, you're not strong but in, you're saying the other person's role to come in and cover that. No, for I think you. Where, where you went wrong was saying as, as a man, man or as a mean? woman, just know oh, your role. Oh, wait, just, wait, so wait, whatever, wait. That, whatever that. I mean, yeah, that, you have to know your role. Oh, I mean. oh, so, oh, okay, because you know it sounded like gender roles, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and we don't do gender no, roles we don't in do 2017. That, yeah. We don't do that. We're trying to break gender roles. Yes. <laughs> Why are you trying to break gender roles? Nah. Why should we have them? Why should we have them? I mean, nah, B. We need that. <sighs> Why? Yeah, because you. The reason you think that is because you guys benefit. You don't. Okay, this is not a topic for it. So we can talk about it. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. We can talk about this one. Now we're gonna move from that to gender roles. No, it can go back to divorce. I think. It, no, it, it, can can it can cause a divorce too. Yeah. Not I mean, knowing your role. Yeah, or that's your, the, yeah your, but like, we don't want to go in depth into like, yeah, you know, like, listen, cause that's that's a big thing. Cause uh, wish, you, please, brother, <laughs> number three. One of the re bit. one of the reason is that intimacy disappears. So they're both yeah. busy. They're both working um, the actors. Board. Yeah. Um, the board. they're not probably getting it in like mm -hmm. they used to when they mm -hmm. first met. You know, so that <laughs> that might be one of the That's reasons. That's a scheduling issue. Just fix the scheduling. I hate schedule sets. I don't know. Well, if you want to get it in, then they'll well. See, Bruh, like see, the moment you have to famous people's problem. I know, why? This is famous people's problem. But, but, no, but, but, I'm so but, busy. but, 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 what? They could still be cheating on each other. Like, so well, what's this? I don't have time to. That's no. what I'm saying. It's no, like that's they're both busy, so you know they don't have so, time. So my question is this: You were not busy before you started talking to me. You're not busy. No, we were exactly. both busy before, but we, we were living single, and okay. now that we are together. So stay single. That's my point. I keep telling people: Just remain the single and just enjoy your life and be going. So what about when they like when yeah. they see each other? What is the conversation like? So what are, are you getting? What are they doing when they see each other? Man. <laughs> no, they, they, when they I mean when they see each other, I my guess is because they're so busy, they only have just a little bit of time. So, so that little bit of time, it's not enough. It's probably not enough for her. Look at her. She probably needs more. <laughs> 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 hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you're right. 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 So, I, I, love, look, you, I love how you just look at somebody and you can just tell. Like, uh, sometimes I know it's, say it's bad to judge a book by a cover, but sometimes, child, you could tell. <laughs> nah, you, know, but but you have to make time for the things you want. Yeah, 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 you have to make time for the things you want. And then that's something that you and her have to agree on that. Yo, listen. <laughs> Bro, like, we gotta, we, baby, we gotta make this happen. We or just work like, on it. Just like, we gotta, look, look, if you're busy, I'm me. busy. It's yeah. cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's cool. But okay. we're not be get, we, we should not be getting married on that kind of terms. I shouldn't be complaining. If you're complaining already of my time, that I'm single, cool. there's, no, flag, point, there's no point of me getting married to you. That's a rest That's The line. point, again, I keep telling you, like, you need to know where you, what your head is getting into. Because that's, if, if my time doesn't work, there's no reason. Yes. Mm. That's why I say, if you remain single, we meet, when we meet. So you don't really believe in marriage? Me? Yeah. Uh, he's going to get married two weeks from now. No, he doesn't believe me two in weeks? marriage. Yeah, you I think the concept of marriage is very, it's too, it's, it's kind of like, it's crazy these days, man. It's really crazy. So wait, you so don't get oh married? no, you're ref you're referring to today's definition I of mean, marriage. I mean, the definition of today on the, the what is going around the marriage in terms I of. I think I think you're you discouraged. Know, you're discouraged um, by what's going on. I can say you can say that. Yeah, but I, I can understand and, and that. Man. Yeah, so I don't want to put myself in that situation right now, and for a very long time I don't see myself putting. I don't see me being in that situation. So I can leave it like that. But it can change. Yeah. yeah. What you put in that right? right to change. Look at the camera, <laughs> y'all. <listen to> <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a new show for the love of my dear. 
for the love of white people. <laughs> for the love so, of white people. I mean, one thing that Chris said was that he hopes that they can still stay friends, and we hope for the um, for mm -hmm. that to happen as well. Okay. It can happen. They have a they have a son, so you know, hopefully they can still um, be I mean, friends they or can friendly. Work it out. Or friendly. Yeah. Right, friendly. Nobody's saying hopefully they can work it out. Like, They're probably just going to get married. No. You see that? You I see that? See that? You see no, that? Friends, friends is good. No. Friends, friends no, is good. No, I said, why can't we hope that they work it out? All right. Why? He hopes you guys can work it out. Yeah, right. I hope that even if you don't work it out, please be friends, and, you know, because of the kid. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, thank, thank you guys good. so much for being here. Yeah, thank you. And having this conversation with us. Thank you for this having This is Mina TV, ABS. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.